Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve if you're having an issue connecting to the Epic Games servers. And it says a connection error, cannot connect to Epic Games Network. Check your connection and retry or continue in offline mode. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So first thing I'm going to recommend doing would be to open up a web browser of your choice. And go ahead and actually, I'm going to have a link in the description of the video to the Epic Games server status checker. It's hosted on Epic Games website here. And in our case, it says all systems operational. If there was an issue, it would say it here, more likely than not. So you could stop the video right here. If it's not operational, it means the servers are down and you have to give it some time. Other users are likely reporting the same problem and nothing you do on your end is going to make any difference. So just put that out, just putting that out there right away. Um, if you just experienced a problem, you might want to check back on this page a couple of minutes later. It might have just happened, so maybe check back five or ten minutes later and see if it still says this on this page before proceeding. Not that anything we're going to do is, you know, really a problem, but just if you don't want to have to bother doing anything, just check back here and see if it changes for you. So pretty straightforward process, guys, on that. And go ahead and close out of here. Again, that should probably be the issue for 99% of you. You're coming here because of the server being down. So just keep that in mind. Something else we can try as well. We open up the search menu, type in CMD, best match, we come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on it and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now into this elevated command line window, type in IP config space forward slash flush DNS. Flush DNS should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter on your keyboard. Should come back a Windows IP configuration. Successfully flush the DNS resolver cache. And now you also want to type in NETSH space WinSock. W-I-N-S-O-C-K space reset. Exactly how you see it on my screen. Hit enter on your keyboard. Should come back with successfully reset the Winsock catalog. You must restart the computer in order to complete the reset. Close out of here and restart your computer. And there you go, guys. Hopefully, this tutorial was able to resolve your problem. I think for most of you, the server's probably down, and that's why you're coming across that issue, especially if you already have Internet access. And I should point out, if you're not getting any Internet access at all, that's a completely different problem. That has nothing to do with Epic Games at all. You want to reset your network settings. So I will show that in this tutorial as well while we're here. Might as well. So if you want to reset your network settings back to default, if you're still having an Internet issue... If you want to just open up the search menu and type in settings, best match, should come back with settings. Go ahead and open that up. Select network and internet on the left side. And then on the right side, scroll down underneath advanced network settings and go ahead and left click on that. Select network reset. Reset all network adapters to factory settings. So this will remove and reinstall all of your network adapters and set other networking components back to their original settings. You might need to reinstall other networking software afterwards, such as VPN client software or virtual switches. Your PC will be restarted. Select the Reset Now button. Are you sure you want to reset your network settings? Make sure you have your Wi-Fi credentials nearby, because once you select Yes, you will have to restart your computer. And you will need to enter back in your Wi-Fi credentials once your computer restarts. So make sure you have them nearby before you select Yes. So go ahead and select that. You're going to be signed out within five minutes. So I'm just going to manually restart my device here. And I would suggest that you guys do the same. And there you go, guys. So hopefully I was able to resolve your problem. And as always, thank you for watching. 
I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.